today we are going to discuss on the topic production management for class SYBCOM subject is commerce 4. In this we are going to take up the contents that is definition of production management, what are the objectives of production management, what are the functions of production management and last what is the importance and significance of production management in terms of organization effectiveness. So let us understand the definition of production. Production definition itself states that production is a reference to, it refers to sequence of operation that transforms into a desired form of output. That means it is a process in which the raw materials are transformed into semi-finished goods and the semi-finished goods are transformed into finished goods. That means there are various levels of transformation that is first level where transformation is by disintegration. Second is transformation by integration where we are using several components as, uh, as input and obtaining essential one product as output. The next is kind of transformation is by service in which we have certain operation undertaken that may add to the value or utility of the items. So this all the transformation leads to a better output. Production management is concerned with the production of right products at the right time and at the right place so as to satisfy the customer and also to achieve the organization goals. So here we are going to discuss about the main objective of production management. The first is to improve quality. Production management aims at quality production and to improve quality the production department undertake research and development where quality is the hallmark to customer satisfaction. The next is to reduce cost of production. Nowadays we see that Cost of production can take place through cost cutting measures wherever possible. Therefore, a company should make efforts to increase demand. Increase in demand will lead to higher production which will definitely result in economy of large scale which in, bring, uh, which in turn will bring down the cost of production. Next is to gain competitive advantage. Production management, it aims at competitive advantage in the market. Production management enables a company to produce quality goods on account of research and development, quality control and inspection. Therefore, a firm can face competition effectively in the market with the help of right quality of product and its right price. Next is to, get, to ensure regular supply. So here the effective production management should ensure regular supply in the market Therefore, the company should make sure to have delivery schedules in the market with regular supply of goods in the market which will help to meet the customer's requirement and as such the company can develop goodwill in the market. Next is to gain corporate image. Efficient production management helps a firm to earn reputation and goodwill in the market. Satisfied customer dealers and others develop a good image of the firm then that will provide good quality of goods at the right price. Next is to satisfy customer. Production management helps a firm to gain customer satisfaction due to better quality goods. Therefore, customer satisfaction takes place when product performance matches with the customer's expectation. Next is to support, to support and to introduce New products, effective production management will enable a firm to introduce new and improved products. With the help of research and development, a firm can develop new and improved products which enables a firm to gain competitive advantage in the market. Next is to make optimum utilization of resources. The firm should ensure to use optimum utilization of resources such as physical resources, capital resources and manpower. Next is to employ, to employ, uh, to motivate the employees. Here we have to find out ways and means how to motivate the employees so that the company can deliver the right quality products in the market at the right price and at the right place. And a part of the profit 
that can be utilized that can be utilized to motivate the employees in the form of incentive and bonus a firm can also reward employees from the production department with non monetary incentives such as provision of good quality good working conditions welfare facilities etc next is to reduce customer complaints which is very important that effective production management should help to reduce customer complaint by ensuring that there is a zero defect product efforts has to be taken up to improve upon the customer specification wherever possible so as to deliver uh, at the right time and ensure that we get customers delight the last and foremost important thing is that we achieve our organization objective if i think we if all these objectives are achieved then automatically we'll be able to attain the organization objective which in turn is increase in market share increase in sales increase in profit enhancement of corporate image improvement in customers relation so these are some of the main objectives of production management which has to be attained at the earliest for better efficiency let us discuss about the functions of production management the first and foremost is that we need to understand what kind of product selection and design has to be done the production uh, department has to take care of the production design in such a way which will meet the customer's requirement then we go to process selection and planning where process selection involves decision relating to choice of technology equipment machines material handling system mechanization and automation the next is capacity building where the production need to plan manager needs to plan for the right production capacity then for production planning the right kind of routing scheduling has to be done for production control the production manager needs to monitor the production to find out whether the production is taking place as per the targets next is inventory control where the production manager has to monitor the level of inventories the work study production management is concerned with the work study it involves method and work measurement employed to ensure the best possible use of resources in carrying out a specific activity next is work study yes as i mentioned right now that it involves method study and work measures to find out that the specific activity is being carried out the last is maintenance and replacement of machines to ensure that there is the production management has to find out that product proper maintenance and replacement of machines and equipment is taken up so all this areas has to be taken care of so that we have a better production efficiency so with this uh, we understand how uh, production planning and control is important the first and important thing is quality which has to be taken care of special focus has to be done on the quality and also ensure that there is a better work environment for the, the workers to work in the cost cutting techniques has to be done so that the operation cost uh, is reduced and uh, there is less wastage the delivery schedules has to be planned well in advance so that the right thing the right uh, at the right time the production is done and it is delivered estimate of resource where physical resources uh, or the uh, human resources all are been taken care of there has to be a teamwork of employees which will definitely work towards the attainment of organizational objectives when there is a customer satisfaction which will ultimately lead to better efficiency and goodwill higher productivity is very important so that is something which will happen if the employees are motivated to give in their best there has to be improvement in labor productivity which can happen when there is a proper training given to the skilled workers to give a better per, uh, output optimum utilization of plant capacity can be done by planning well in advance how to utilize the resources in the right manner and to avoid wastage we should have a steady flow of productivity so that there is an optimum level of inventory management 
and also we have to see that the minimized wastage has to be done there has to be a zero defect production which will lead to customer satisfaction the less wastage the more we can uh, help we can uh, reduce the losses and we can gain profits so that will definitely help in contribution to the profit so if all these areas are being taken care of the the pro organization will definitely uh, gain profit and it will gain goodwill in the long run and uh, the production planning and control is the pillar of any production and inventory management if the planning is done well in advance and the op then the operation the sequence of operation will go in a proper manner so all these things is very very important all these factors are very very important when it comes to production planning and control i hope uh, the, the students have understood the concept very well thank you for patient listening and uh, ensure that if you have your before studying uh, please go through this video which will help you to understand the concepts of production management very very clearly thank you dear students